Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, so these are a few things I bought on eBay recently. I bought this chest full of stuff most recently. Um, I've not gone through it. Um, the stuff inside did come in a bag, um, but I'm going to reuse that. But for the purpose of this video, I took it all out of the bag and just dumped it in here. And then I bought this separately uh, from a different buyer. So I'm going to put this to the side first and we're going to have a look in this box. So this I think I paid £4 for. And it says €69 Euros on the box. You can obviously guess what it is. I can never say it. Sw Swarovski? Swarfs? Swar yeah, I don't know. Um, so... I believe there's three things in here. So there's one pendant on its own. Camera doesn't really do any justice. It's so beautiful. And there's this smaller one on a rope, um, but it's not tied or anything like that. Um, and then there's this larger one, which is also on a rope and it's not tied. But yeah. I thought that was a bargain for four pound, but yeah, so that's that. I'm not sure how much is worth them. Then I need to do my research. Um, and then this, I bought separately, and this I think was five pounds plus postage. And the only reason I bought it really was for the the chest itself. Um, it does close, but it doesn't close because I've overpacked it. But and I've taken this drawer out for the purpose of fit more jewellery in so um like i said i've i've looked at the stuff just to put it in the in the box but i've not actually gone through any of it so this is the first time i'm going through it properly so let's have a look i saw this when i was putting it in obviously you can't miss it um a comb that'll probably go into a like um a junk a junk job lot or like a junk drawer job lot you know everyone has a junk drawer right so i'm going to junk stuff bracelet stretchy bracelet um looks like dyed coral or dyed shell and this looks like a necklace to go with it um m s it says so i'll probably sell that as a as a bundle together like a set this weird broken ornament thing <laughs> that can go straight in the bin Um, uh, a 21 key junk job lot. Like, I'm, I'm not expecting big things from this because it was only cheap and I only bought it for the actual box. So, um, yeah, this is nice. Um, nothing... Nothing on there. Let me just scratch it on my stone. Nah. Then I'm going to a job lot. A job lot, like a reselling job lot. Um, a lot of this is tangled. So I don't know whether I can be bothered to untangle it. Like those are just stuck together, but they're just multi strands anyway. So I'm going to a job lot. Um, is this one? Ow. That hook just like stabbed me. Um, there's that weird stony looking thing that can go into reselling lots. There's this one that can go in there as well. Ron calling out to all Rons. Who know a Helen, Helen and Ron. Shout out to you if you want this. Come and get it, Helen and Ron. <laughs> Resell that. Like, what's the probability of somebody called Helen or Ron who have some sort of relationship together and they want a pendant with both the names on? <laughs> um, this looks like M and S to me, or Next or something. Doesn't really say. Job lot. Beads. A 
So next chain. I saw these earlier on when I was putting them in the box. I have no idea what it is. It's like really light metal, so it's probably aluminium. Um, just look weird. But there's a few of them. Um, so I'll probably put that, in, oh, put that and go in the bin. This little tiny bin. Um, but these, I'll put all the crafted job lot stuff up the top. So there's another one there. And there's another one there. And the ball on it. <laughs> Um, craft, crafty thing, stretch bracelet, stretch bracelet, you can go in the crafters lot. I like this, it's quite heavy, glass beads, um, there's nice blue and black ones on it, it's quite nice. It's quite long, I'll sell that. This is quite nice as well, I think, yeah, I thought so. Um, m &S, this is, black and green for the job lot, it's quite nice, I say it's nice because it's just, just goes green, anything green is nice to me, because green is my favourite colour, so it could be anything like this, that's nice as well, because it's green, <laughs> um, it's not really nice is it, it's um, neon, well the colour is nice, I like the colour, but obviously the, the item is not nice, it's um, a little kids costume jewellery neon green put that in crafters probably this is a nice shell beaded one some crafter can take that apart which I, no, no i don't know because there's nothing wrong with it so why would a crafter want to destroy it um no it's probably going to resell a lot because i don't craft i don't know what they can use or what they'd even use it for either so m s necklace Cackle stones are all in there, yeah, it's fine. Resell. Um, but like I said, I'm not really um, expecting much from here. Like, I'm not expecting to find any gold or silver, really. Um, um, and I'm not bothered if I don't, because I've got my money in the in the chest. Resell, because the chest itself is, um, is quite nice and worth a fiver. This is broken, scratched on there. I don't know what it is. This pendant. Um, something like this, because it's scratched, I don't know what you would use that for in a crafter's lot, so I don't know, I'll just chuck it in there anyway. Um, this is plastic, oops, two of them, tangled, let's have a look. Oh, they're tangled together. Brian, let's just chuck it all in, crafters. Um, this is dice. I'll probably put that in my junk stuff. Multi strand. Um, this costume jewelry. I don't know who it's by. Probably put that in there. A giant button. See, do I put that in the crafters lot or junk drawer? Crafters. Crafter can do a lot with that, right? It's a big button. There's two rings there. Oh, abalone. I'll probably put that in the ring lot. Or sell it on its own. Heart ring. You can see the copper coming through on the inside, so it's not silver. That's not silver, I don't think. That ring, that other one. Doesn't look like silver. Oh, there's another ring. Ah. Uh, oh, that's probably Ron. It's probably Ron's ring. Um, job lot of rings again, bracelet, hem and ass or something, don't know, job lot, pendant, Celtic pendant, there's no maker marks on it, there's no 925, but let's just scratch it anyway, just in case, scratching like silver, Put the um the dye on it. Or oh, dye, you know what I mean, acid. <laughs> dye. <laughs> it looks like silver. Uh, I know some people can tell as soon as they put the stuff on there. Um because you you can set you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but the, the liquid has turned really dark red now. But I like to 
make sure by, by wiping it off and checking the wipe. Because when you wipe it off, it looks like a blood stain. Um, you can see the yellow or the orange. That's the liquid, which hasn't been in contact with the, the silver. And then the red is what's been in contact with the silver and is reacting. It looks like a blood like splatter or spludge. Um, that's what they say. So that is silver. Um, so I wasn't expecting to find any silver or gold. But um, yeah, even if I sell that scrap, that's decent. Um, now what's left in here is just a little bit of stuff. Um, oh, there's, there's earrings there. Which go with the um, ooh, the necklace and the, the bracelet, which I had earlier on. Uh, most of this is just all... Who was this? Oh, I don't know. What, please comment what these are called, because I forgot what they were called. Um, I think it's something to do with the tie, isn't it? Like a tie thing, I don't know. But it says Made in England on it. Um probably brass let me just scratch it Ooh. let me put some acid on that because i don't know yeah i think it's disappearing yeah it's disappeared so it's not gold Um, what do I do with this in there? Um, I'll probably put that into a reselling lot because it is a bit damaged. I think. Can you see that it's damaged? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, I'll probably put it in that. Not reseller. I mean the craft. No, what would a craft see? What would a crafter do with that? I don't know. I'll put it in the reseller lot because there's no more crafter would do with that. Ooh, Brock pearl. Nice color. I don't know if you can tell the color on that. It's like a purpley pink. Let's test it on my teeth. Yeah, that is scratching, like sandy, gritty kind of thing. So you could either wear that as a necklace or a bracelet, like turn around twice. Um, so yeah, that's nice. I'll sell that. Um, and then like I said, all these then are, looks just like little beads and things. Ooh, there's a cross. There's a pencil. <laughs> I'll put that in the junk drawer. Um, there's a cross. Can't see anything on it. It looks like brass. Let me just scratch it just in case. Yeah, it looks like brass to me, but I'm just gonna. You never know. So. Yeah, it's disappearing. Um, but I'll put that into a religious lot because I've never sold a religious lot yet. But um, I have got one like mounting up with a few different religious things in there. So oh, I can't even pick it back up. It's stuck. <laughs> so it keeps sliding. Um, yeah, just beads. Um, on my lunch break today, we called, uh, my partner and I called um, our energy provider up to uh, see what um, what deals we can get because obviously April's come in, prices are increasing with gas and electric, bills, petrol, all this kind of thing. And um, we currently pay, um, I think it's £92 a month for our gas and electric. I don't know whether that's like expensive or not, but we pay that every month and then we pay that every month regardless how much we use. Um, and then if we use more than that, then every quarter we have to pay more, like like altogether of how much more we've used. Um, and if we've not used £92 worth a month, then every quarter we'll get a refund for the amount which we we've paid for and we haven't used or we use or we keep it as a credit. Um so that's how we've always done it. Um and we we called up today and the cheapest tariff they could do was £183. So that's like double of what we what we're paying now. So from May I think it is 
uh, my first payment in May is it's going to be £183 for gas and electric. And we live in a small, like, semi-detached house, two bedrooms. So it's two bedrooms, bathroom upstairs, and then downstairs is just a living room and kitchen, like a diner kitchen. So it's not as if it's a massive house, but it's just extortionate, isn't it, with the prices going up at the moment. Um, this is cool. Um, but on the other end, um, I think I'm sure I did this last year as well. But we pay £169 a month for council tax. And I did this last year, I'm sure I did, because I, I had like deja vu. But basically, I paid corporation, not corporation tax. I keep saying corporation tax because I work for corporation tax. Um, council tax. So we paid council tax in February and March when we shouldn't have. Apparently, um, council tax, you don't pay in February and March. But we did. We paid £169. So I phoned them up to ask them, because we received a letter saying this is how much your council tax is now every month, £154. So I rang them, um, expecting expecting to have two months free. Well, not free, like two months I don't have to pay because I've already paid two months up front. So I thought they would take the £169, which we paid in January, no, February, March, and take it off our April and May spills, so we don't have to pay until, like, June, or something, you know what I mean, right? But what they've done, which is crafty, and I don't like this kind of way, but they've taken the two lots of £169 off the total bill, and then divided that up by how many months they are in the year, obviously. So, instead of giving us, like, two months up front payments, they've just taking it off the total bill so now it's reduced our like monthly council tax 154 which is annoying because we still have to pay it now next month but yeah um yeah i don't know why i told you guys that story but yeah <laughs> that's, that's as, as exciting my day goes really um all these will go into um uh, crafters lots draw buttons and things none of them look any special but yeah Thanks for watching, guys, and um, I'll see you or speak to you soon. Thanks. Bye.